Okay guys, let's see how we can name the following alcohols. I have two questions for you to practice how to name alcohols. So the first question is this one. So you have this organic compound, which is an alcohol. Okay, so you can see in an alcohol, you have this hydroxide ion, which is known as the hydroxyl group. Okay, and the hydroxyl group is the functional group for an alcohol. Okay, so before we can give this alcohol a name, you need to identify first the longest continuous carbon chain that contain the carbon atom which is joined to the hydroxyl group so the carbon atom which is joined to the hydroxyl group is this one you can see this one this is the carbon atom which is joined to the hydroxyl group so this is the hydroxyl group when identifying the longest continuous carbon chain this carbon must be included in the longest continuous carbon chain okay the longest continuous carbon chain can be one two three four five six or one two three four five six so you can see the longest continuous carbon chain is made up of six carbon atoms so it can be the straight one or the bent one so this one or this one so let's take the simplest one which is the straight one so if we take the straight one this is going to be our branch okay so before we can give this alcohol a name you need to number your carbon atoms in such a way that the hydroxyl group this functional group is given the lowest possible number so you can see in an alcohol the priority goes to the hydroxyl group not the branch which is this one so you give the priority to the hydroxyl group so you are going to number in such a way that this carbon which is joined to the hydroxyl group is located on the lowest possible number you can see if i start from left it will be one two three four so the hydroxyl group will be located on carbon number four but if i start from right it will be one two three you can see the hydroxyl group will be located on carbon number three so the lowest possible number will be obtained if we start from right to the left so it will be one two three four five and six okay you can see that now you can see the hydroxyl group which is the functional group for an alcohol is located on carbon number three and you have the branch which is a methyl group located on carbon number five you can see that okay now we can name this alcohol okay you need to memorize this table the one i gave you in the previous video this one you need to memorize it you are not going to be given it in an exam so this is a simple table to memorize okay now let's name this alcohol Okay, now to name this alcohol, you start first by writing down the name of the branch, which is a methyl group. You can see when you have one carbon, the branch is known as a methyl group. So you have on carbon number five, a methyl group. So it will be five like this. And then you have a methyl group like this. And now the parent chain is made up of six carbon atoms. You can see when the parent chain is made up of six carbon atoms, you can see the prefix to use in the case of an alcohol it will be exen like this so you write exen like this you use this prefix and then you have the hydroxyl group located on carbon number three so you are going to have three there and then the suffix will be all like o l you can see it in the name alcohol you have o and l you can see all so it will be all like this so the full name is five metal xn three all so this is the full name of this organic compound okay let's see another question question two we have this organic compound let's see how we can name this organic compound now in this question you have two hydroxyl group you can see this one and this one you have two hydroxyl group this one and this one you can see that okay now you need to identify the longest continuous carbon chain that contain the carbon which are joined to the hydroxyl group the carbon atoms which are joined to the hydroxyl group are this one and this one these carbon atoms must be included in the longest continuous carbon chain okay let's get the longest continuous carbon chain it can be one two three four five six seven eight you can see that so it cannot be this one this one because you are only going to have one carbon atom which is joined to the hydroxyl group and this one will be left out okay and it can't be this one because this one will be left out 
So the longest continuous carbon chain must include both carbon atoms, this one and this one, because they have the functional group of an alcohol. The functional group of an alcohol is the hydroxyl group. So this is an hydroxyl group and this is an hydroxyl group. So it can be only this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this is going to be the branch and this is also going to be another branch. Okay. So now we need to first number our carbon atoms so that we can locate our hydroxyl group and our branches. Okay. So the numbering will be done in such a way that the first hydroxyl group is given the lowest possible number. The priority does not go to the branch, this branch. You're not giving this branch the priority. You are giving the priority to the hydroxyl group, this hydroxyl group. So the first hydroxyl group must be located on the lowest possible number. You can see if I start from right, the first hydroxyl group will be on carbon number one, two, three, four. So it will be on carbon number four. But if I start from left, the first hydroxyl group will be on carbon number two. You can see that one, two, you can see. So we need to get the hydroxyl group on the lowest possible number. So you can see that we have to start from left going to the right. So this will be carbon number one and this two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, now you have the hydroxyl group on carbon number two and also on carbon number five. You can see that. And you have a branch on carbon number three, this one, and another branch on carbon number four, this one. Okay, so this is a methyl. You can see that when you have one carbon, the branch is known as a methyl. And this is a nitrile. You can see when you have two carbon, the branch is known as a nitrile. And we have two hydroxyl group. Now we need to name this organic compound, which is an alcohol. You start first by writing down the name of the branches. Remember, you have two branches, this one and this one. So a nitrile group and a methyl group. So methyl and ethyl. You need to write them down in alphabetical order. So this is ethyl. You can see and this is methyl so e comes before m so you need to write this down first so it is located on carbon number four so it will be four ethyl right and then on carbon number three you have this three methyl right so you don't look at the numbers four and three you might be wondering why four before three the numbers are only telling you that on carbon number four you have an ethyl group and on carbon number three you have a methyl group you write your branches in alphabetical order so e comes before m you're not looking at the numbers okay and now we need to name our parent chain which is made up of eight carbon atoms you can see when you have eight carbon atoms the prefix to use it will be octane like this octane in the case of alcohols so it will be octane like this okay and then you need to locate your hydroxyl group this one and this one there is one on carbon number two and another one on carbon number five so it will be two comma five like this because you have it on carbon number two and on carbon number five okay so you have two of them when you have two of the same thing what you need to use is the prefix die so it will be die all like this die all you can see o l you use die because you have two of the same thing okay so this is the full name of this organic compound which is an alcohol the full name is 4 ethyl 3 methyl octane 2,5 die all okay so this is all i provided for practicing the naming of alcohols okay remember to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell so that you can have this video coming your way okay see you next time and take care